What'd you buy? Lovely, it's got an SMR, Bobby. Shomai. 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 I thought we were at a war with China, love. I thought we were going to war with China. What's and you're the, buying Shomai? What's, what's going on, love? Huh? Terrible, don't counsel me. This sounds terrible. I'm going to tell you something, right? You see these guys, young guys, handsome guys, they come in here and they're dating like really overweight, ugly girls. And I'm like, bro, they're no really overweight, ugly girls in your country. Like, why are you coming here and debating really overweight, ugly girls? I don't know, bro. I don't know. For me, like, if you're going to have a hassle of dating someone in Asia, they need to be pretty good looking. Uh, like, otherwise I wouldn't bother. I don't know, it sounds terrible. I'm saying this, my massage girl's about overweight. She's 50. She had her first kid when she was 14. She's like, oh, can I find a guy? I'm like, yeah, for sure. She's because Australian guys will date ugly girls, mate, in the Philippines. Like it's the way it is. So like, I don't know. It's, it is what it is. So I was like, yeah, for sure. What's that? Did you subscribe her? Nah, I didn't. I didn't. Mate, she was smashing me in that massage. She was so like, I feel great, dude. She's sticking an elbow on my back. I was like, oh. oh. But yeah, she'll, she'll get a guy. If she goes to Philippine and Cuba, she'll get a guy for sure. She stays long enough. Hello. <laughs> hey. Yeah, she'll get a guy. If she stays there long enough, she'll get a guy for sure. Chalking, bruh. Bit of MSG, bruh. There's a bit of MSG in chalking, man. I'll say that for nothing. Hey, how are you? Hey, hello, hello. Mate, that was so good. That chick was, she was 50, but she was strong as, bro. She was strong, mate. Oh, man, she was strong. And uh, her, her son is uh, a university professor. So he's really nice. Gave her a tip. She was happy. Check it out. Uh -huh. Hey. Yeah. Hello. Hey, how are you? Hey. Hey. Yeah, it was good, bro. She really, oh, man, she really got into my neck and stuff. It was crazy. It was so good. Ah, uh, we're just walking up to the mall. There's the mall. So check it out. Yeah, I'd go back there for sure, bro. She, that was that was so good, man. It was so good. Like she's like, do you want another hour? I was like, oh, 100%. But I mean, if I ask for another hour, just because I got annoyed, she's waiting for me in the mall. So we're in some mall here. So if I got another hour, I would have been taking the piss about out of Jessica. So I didn't want to do that, you know. Lifting weights, right? Like, mate, a massage is such a big deal. And like, if you're not lifting, it's not a big deal. When you're lifting every day, you're lifting every day, every day, you get so sore. That's why I've got, I also I have about 50 massage devices. I've got massage cushions, massage chairs, massage guns. I'm always trying to uh, unknot the area of my upper thoracic spine, do all those neck bridges. So I'm always trying to unknot the areas. So the way to get stronger is not just through lifting weights, it's through recovery. And um, Eddie Hall says that, right? Eddie Hall, when he bench, he, uh, he deadlifted 500 kilos, right? He said, listen, it takes 10 days to recover from a deadlift, right? So what are you gonna do? You've got to shorten your recovery. So he said, you know, I did, um, I did massage, I did uh, cold, cold and hot uh, tubs. I did, um, I think he did, he did red light therapy. I don't know about that, bro. I don't know about red light therapy. I haven't done no research into it. I don't do it myself. I've no idea whether it's good or bad, but I know massage in like cold plunges. Like when you go on a cold plunge, it, all, all the blood runs to your like, um, uh, to your heart and stuff to keep you alive. And when you get back out, it runs back to the area, so it flushes the area. Acupuncture as well, I do a heap of acupuncture. Uh, that's really good. I sound too zesty, bruh, but acupuncture is really good. When you wrestle, put a needle in, you know, like uh, I travel with acupuncture needles as well, just in case something, um, just in case something like habits to get an injury, I stick an acupuncture needle, and that can take like a, you know, a five to six day healing down to two days. So it's so good. Here you go, Robinson. Honest with you, bro. I'm like, oh, let's go to Manila, let's do some toys and stuff. Jessica doesn't want to leave her family, mate. She's like, no, no, let's stay here, let's stay here. And I guess it's not worth the fight, bro. It's not worth the fight to go, oh, let's go to Manila, let's go to Manila, let's go to Angeles. Sometimes it's just easier, just because I call you like, sometimes you just got to give up and go, look, I've been beaten, right? I'm going to be in the province. That's just what it is. Like, that's when she's happy, you know? So, and she's so happy when she's with her family. You know, it kind of makes me happy when she's happy. 
but some some battles are worth losing you know what i mean like the battle to not be in the province is a battle that i've obviously lost so i've been here for two months you know what i mean okay yes here we are we're at the mall bro so me and jessica at cinema so i want to try and get a gym it's bench press day man i just i get up and it's bench press day i'm just so happy i'm thinking of doing this routine where i do like just bent over rows bench press and power feeds and then just you know legs you know sporadic every few days that'd be awesome every day would be bench press day how good would that be if you woke up and every day was bench press day that would just be awesome one of the hardest smash shows i've ever had i was in korea once korea in seoul and i i went i met this girl was like 130 kilos hey how are you hey, YouTube. this girl was like 130 kilos right dude she gave me a pretty brutal massage as well but it's good, you know, like, I know it hurts when you're in there, but it's good when you get out, you feel like, oh, I can lift, you know. Because, you know, you feel so sore, you're like, oh, I can't lift, I feel so sore. Yeah, you get a massage, you feel like you can lift the world, you know what I mean? So it's a great feeling. Check it out. The best massage I've ever had. She's like 50. I guess when uh, her son is a lecturer at university, you know the university? Her son's one of the lecturers at the university. Uh, I don't know, I didn't ask her, but anyway, she, 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 she's, you know, I need to go to the so I figured thing. out, she had her first kid when she was 14, she's 50, right? She goes, how do you know that, sir? I said, well, I asked your age, uh, she told me her age, she asked me my age, and I, then she asked her age, and then asked the age of a kid. Now I know the age she had her first kid, right, 14. So, yeah, all these massage girls seem to have kids at 14. How much Are we going to Well, 500, but I tipped her 100, and she wanted to do another hour, bro. I was going to message you and say I need to do another hour, but I thought I'm not going to do that, you know. Yeah, so, okay, I was just going to movies. What'd you buy? Lovely, let's go to SMR, Bobby. Shomai. 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 I thought we were at a war with China, love. I thought we were going to war with China. And you're buying Shomai? What's going on, love? Huh? Bro, we're nearly at war with China and just is buying Shamai. What's going on, bro? Filipino shop. Uh, it's not Filipino, is it? Yeah. No, I mean, it's made. Are you going to offer me some or not? Good job. You want some? Yeah. and our pizza which is basically it's Costco it's basically Costco in America so um, we're going there we're going to get two pieces of pizza and a drink so then we're going to go to the gym hopefully this way love this way oh this way this way yeah. right. I'm saying my massage girl is about overweight she's 50 she had her first kid when she was 14 she's like oh can I find a guy I'm like yeah for sure She's because Australian guys will date ugly girls, mate, in the Philippines. Like, it's the way it is. So, like, I don't know. It's, it is what it is. So, I was like, yeah, for sure. What's that? Can you subscribe her? So guys, please subscribe, share if you like, and <coughs> hit the notification button so you're always updated with our vlogs. And see you in the next vlog. Bye. Oh, don't subscribe. I can really care less.